Hello friends, welcome in this sub module on inferring a skill. We have discussed various process skills till now. I am sure you are enjoying the activities which you are doing. Inferring is also a very important basic skill. It is essential that you develop this skill among your students, among your learners at early age. When we talk about inferring, the first thing about inferring is that it is a person's best guess. An inference is a person's best guess about the cause of an observation. So what you can take from here that inferences are based on observations, but not only observations. When you draw an inference or you draw a conclusion, you use your logic on what you have observed. So observation is different from inferring in the sense that whatever we observed, we infer something about our observation by using logic. And the third very important characteristic of inferring skill is that inference is an explanation of our observation about an object or event. So observation is merely collection of the data or fact. And when you explain the reason, you draw the conclusion by using the logic, by using your past experiences, by using your understanding, then you draw inferences. So you can say that an inference is an explanation to our observation about any object or event. You know, inferring is generally based on some evidences. Evidences comes through our observations. So it is possible that if you ask your learners to draw inferences, they may draw different kind of inferences. Why? Because they are observing from the different angle. Though the set of the observations may be same, but because they are observing from different angle, from different perspective, so their inferences may be different. Now, if you want to develop this inferring skill among your learners, you have to give them the opportunity to draw inferences. How they can draw inferences? You show something to your learners and ask them to try find out some clues. First, they should try to find out the clues which they can use to draw inferences. And then they should try to match their clues which they have identified with the knowledge, with the information they already have. So when they match the clues with their information or the knowledge which they already have, they may draw different types of answers. They may give you different types of answers. So you should encourage them. You should encourage them. There may be more than one answer. You should encourage them for it. And you should ask them to support their inferences with the logic, with the explanation. Because inferences should not be merely assumptions. They should be based on some fact, some logic or some explanation. Let us try to do an activity. You show such kind of picture to your learners and you ask them first to note down what they are observing in the picture. They may note down 10 things, 5 things, 8 things, whatever they are observing, they should note down it. Then you ask them now infer based on the observations which you have noted down. So you can show such kind of images, you can tell them a situation, you can show them a small video clip, and then you ask them to observe and infer. Because inferring and observation are not same thing, though many times they may get confused. Why they get confused? Because inferring and observations are closely related, but they are not identical. Observation is basically what we see. But inference is an assumption of what we have seen. So what we are seeing, what we are uh, viewing, those are the facts, those are observations. But when we draw inferences on the basis of those facts, those observations, so you can say that observation can be a factual description, but inference is an explanation of the collected data. So inference is not only a guess. Till now we have discussed that Inference is a person's best guess 
because a person use logic to draw conclusions inferring is basically an explanation to our observations and inferences are based on some evidences i hope that with this short description you will be able to understand what inferring skill is and how you can develop this skill among your learners now you are requested to design some activities so that you can work further for the development of inferring skill as a basic process skill among your learners thank you